Wow, another absolutely spectacular day in the neighborhood. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but it's after work I go. Damn. Uh, anyway, uh, to be serious. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, you know, she's just going to keep bragging in the comments. You know, she complains that she doesn't want involvement and that she sticks her nose right in it. And that's just the way it's going to be. And she does it in this. Um, clearly rude and obnoxious manner, this personal manner, um, it, you know, so yeah, I'm going to be on her fucking case, uh, she's nothing but a theology student, <laughs> that's all it comes down to, she's, 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 she's reading the, the book of gods, uh, oh, and her, she's just so obvious, I mean, her links are always littered with these little references to, to the journals of women and such, um, Oh, just pitiful. Uh, so obvious. <laughs> so anyway, she, you know, she's been making a whole ton of comments on uh, Apropos of Snow's video, his last one of the three, and uh, it's just the same old crap. I mean, you know, she'd be bringing up epigenetics if I didn't uh, point out how that was a canard and a pile of shit. And so this all comes down to, they have these, these deity stories, these stories of the, the magical DNA love, the love, the love juice <laughs> that's hidden inside of the DNA. Um, you know, it's point zero 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 one percent of evolution might have something to do with these <clears throat> quirks of game theory, um, you know, incidental, the accidents of nature that take place, so to speak where organisms end up in um, symbiotic relationships. Um, a tiny percentage of the real dynamic. Uh, it's, it's like uh, thinking you know airplanes uh, because you looked up a stewardess's skirt and saw that what color panties she was wearing. I mean, it, it's, it's ludicrous. This is so unrelated to anything real that's going on in nature or anything real that's happening. Uh, with DNA evolution. Uh, get rid of that. I gotta cut that fucking tree. It's gonna kill me. Uh, it's gonna try to. Uh, but that's an illusion. It's not really trying. Uh, <laughs> you know, it's just so stupid. Yeah, these people actually think that, uh, you know, when the carnivore is chasing its prey, there's some sort of, uh, uh, you know, I'm just part of the circle of life. And, yeah, I'll, I'll, well, I'll try not to trip it too hard. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, 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 it's being all full of good feelings. Oh, this is just disgusting. Um, you know, what, to, to sanctify, to glorify the, the game, the system, because they can't concede the simple truth that the universe sucks, just the way it turns out. Uh, you know, it's not its fault, it's dumb. It can, you know, dumb things can't help but suck, just the way it turns out. Uh, you know, it's just, it's just is. Yeah, trees, limbs fall, kill people for no good reason. Things happen, it sucks, it's just the way it is. It's a dumb system. Um, it's a dumb mechanism in charge of a precious commodity, as I've said before. That's the truth of it. Alright, it fell upon this sentient thing, this capacity to feel, and it doesn't have the brains to manage it. It doesn't have the, uh, the capacity to put it in a proper cage with proper accoutrements, uh, you know, a proper environment. Um, no, it just sets it loose and uh, all hell breaks loose. And, and they just don't want to, they don't want to accept the simple truth. It's a failure. The game is stupid. And uh, so they play these games. Now, the real, something that really does irritate me, but I'm, I'm not sure, I'm just, I'm going to try to resist the temptation to get really pissed off. But I'm just so sick of these weasels, these liars. I'm, so, I'm just going to keep calling you liars, you people. I'm going to dare you to sue me. You're liars. Deliberate, willful liars. It's been made clear, okay, that uh, the end game strategies are for the lawbreakers. So if you pass the law against slavery, you're not going to allow some people to go out in the woods and still own slaves. You're not going to let them go out in the woods and breed their slaves. Now you're going to pass a law against it. And if you catch the motherfuckers, you're going to kill them, right? You are. That's going to, you're going to have a pretty high damn penalty for it. 
You're just going to say, fuck this shit. We're done with this crap, you asshole. Um, you know, if somebody starts, uh, you know, wearing Hitler garb in Germany, <laughs> you know, and, and walking down the street uh, doling out pamphlets, yeah, he's not going to live too long. People are just going to say, fuck this shit. We don't need this crap. Uh, so don't pretend that my endgame strategies are so horrific. If it is true that uh, conducting birthing experiments is in fact no more ethically defensible than Frankenstein, Dr. Frankenstein's zombie experiments, uh, then the truth is you wouldn't let Dr. Frankenstein play his game. You'd say, fuck you, and if he kept doing it, you'd show up at his door with a pitchfork, and you'd do, you'd do what needed to get done. And that's the end game, all right? If the lawbreakers don't want to play fair, they don't want to play by the rules, then they'll take the consequence for that. Uh, so this is just this bullshit. And the other argument is so obvious, it's, it's imbecilic. But it has nothing to do about the fact that if you know the uh, parasitic infection is a bad one, if you, had a, if you had a giant herd of rabid dogs, uh, I'm sure, uh, or even cows, you know, they're all sick, they got the anthrax. Well, what would to be serious a solution be if there was 10 million of them? What would her solution be? Just let them live? No, she'd have to do what had to get done. And so again, it's just another false argument. Just to, it's just for show, just to make me out to be Mangula or something. Uh, it's incredibly insulting. They, they talk to the, talk about themselves like they're philosophers. They can't have an argument. All they can do is personally attack, malign, and slander. They're just lying little weasels, as I've described them. I mean, I'm insulting weasels. I mean, weasels aren't liars. They're scurvy little disgusting creatures, but they're not liars. Uh... Even squirrels. Uh, so anyway, so I guess I'll talk a bit about the, this evolution thing and these uh, these religious uh, scientists, and that's all they are. I've made this. I made the argument before that the only thing that's happening now is, you know, God is dead. Okay, Jehovah and Mohammed, the gods of the past are dead, but the new God is DNA. They are. Um, desperate to make nature uh, a flying, attractive, fuckable pig. And so they just keep trying to pervert the truth, pervert what we know to be the substance of the game, and keep trying to make it prettier. To keep trying to put a dress on the horror, the, 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 the grotesque stupidity, the grotesque waste. And so it's like they, they have a recipe. And... Uh, the recipe calls for 99% horror shit, and you put in 1% golden, lovely sugar, like maybe lovely brown sugar. Uh, and so because it has 1% brown sugar in it, they'll say, I'm going to serve this to my family. <laughs> you know, uh, that's all. They're, they're, they're just glorifying the tiniest minority as the speck, the speck, the speck of shine. On the, on the dull, and, uh, and ignoring the whole, and uh, just glorifying anything that'll give them any kind of glowy feeling about what's going on on planet Earth. And it's all just a lie. And it's all just a manipulation, it's just propaganda, religious propaganda. Uh, and, uh, you know, the, the, the worst part is, is you can't even get to these sources, these stupid little cloistered Harvard professors are afraid to face the public. Uh, you know, they're afraid to face an argument, somebody challenging their mumbo-jumbo, their bullshit. And uh, to be fair to some of them, uh, you know, when they actually talk about this crap, they certainly don't talk about it in the terms to be serious as using it. <laughs> you know, they certainly aren't making her argument with it. Uh, you know, that somehow there's a a balancing core to evolution. No, they understand that this is just a tangential, very specific nuance to certain dynamics that take place between organisms over millions of years uh, of interaction. And uh, yeah, so that's all that's happening. Obviously, over time, 
each organism develops strategies for survival. And some of them are, uh, on, on, on the surface, seem incredibly unaggressive. You're saying, well, why isn't it more aggressive? I've made this argument about funguses. I mean, mushrooms is a, is a very efficient uh, mechanism. It could grow everywhere. Why isn't it growing everywhere? Ah, you know, it shoots out zillions of spores. They could be germinating all over the place. Why? And the reason why is the same reason we die. It's the same reason there's always a balance that, that has to be... You always have to balance your... I shouldn't use the word balance. You always have to adjust your strategy to the environment. Uh, because there's short-term mechanisms of survival and there's long-term mechanisms of survival. And you have to satisfy the long-term standards if you're still going to be here millions of years later. If you're going to be a survivor for millions of years, you're going to have to have a strategy that keeps you under control, that keeps you from decimating the environment, which is the irony of our intelligence, because our intelligence is like a new organism that's been set loose. Uh, technology is a new, a new uh, introduction. It has been here for millions of years. So it has none of those adjustments, it has none of those disciplines, and that's why we are quickly, uh, rapidly uh, destroying, shitting in our own water, uh, turning the environment hostile and caustic to our own existence. Uh, it's a great irony. But many organisms died because they didn't have these adjustment mechanisms. Uh, through evolution, they became eccentric, they, they met the standards of their environment for survival, but all their environment had to do was subtly change, and all of a sudden, their uh, recklessness, let's call it, uh, their undeveloped evolutionary psychology was set loose, and they destroyed their own environment, and turned into a desert or whatever, and killed themselves. That play has probably been run out millions of times in the history of life on this planet. So anyway, back to the fungus thing, and the original point, is uh, they don't exist aggressively, because they understand there's, uh, not that they understand, they have been, they have been adapted to the condition that sometimes that'll get you killed. Sometimes abundance isn't a good thing, because it makes you food. I mean, if there's only four people on planet Earth, uh, then the aliens wouldn't want to come here and farm us, would they? <laughs> They'd say, oh, no point in going to, to Earth because there ain't enough humans to eat there. Uh, so, yeah, you become food when you become abundant. You become something another organism can become dependent on eating. Not only just like eating, but be dependent on eating. And uh, that can get you eradicated unless you have a strategy like grass. Grass has a strategy built in where it protects its roots, that the game is the roots, and it doesn't mind losing a little bit of its head because it's saving its ass. <laughs> uh, you know, so it'll, tell, it'll create, there will be a symbiotic, it's not even a beneficial, I don't think grass gets much benefit out of being grazed, but uh, certainly uh, they, they, by, by being grazable, uh, by giving one organism who doesn't hurt them uh, what it wants, uh, they will protect themselves from other organisms that might want to take everything they have, or will take. But the fact that there are these uh, relationships between evolving creatures in a highly complex uh, environment full of different kinds of billiards each ball is a different size and shape. They're all interacting and bouncing around with each other. Uh, yeah, that's, that, 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 that's not something I'm, I've reduced. That's not something I've taken out of the equation. So this argument of reductionism is bullshit. No one's arguing that there aren't complex relationships that develop over millions of years. Little chipmunk. Yeah, sorry to interrupt. Uh, he said it's okay, but you know. She was kind of hot, and he's probably lost his opportunity. 
Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, I mean, this is a long, you know, <laughs> you know, nobody's denying complexity, but you can't use complexity as a, a as a veil, uh, you know, to, to uh, hide your agenda of religion, to sneak it into the building. And that's all you're doing, you religious nuts. You're just using complexity to uh, uh, hide, to confuse, to, to, to make the argument that, look, if you look really hard, you can see Mary. Yeah, look, look really hard. Don't you see her? She's right there. Don't you see her, Mary? Don't you see her? That's all you people are doing. You're, you're, you're seeing your religious icons in the complexity of altruism and love and hope and beauty. Yeah, it's in bullshit. Sorry. They're not there. That's not part of the real structure. It's not the real game. Uh, and you're playing a game. You're, you're cheating the truth. You're cheating honesty. You're cheating integrity. You're just demonstrating yourselves to be what you are. Desperate religious kooks. Okay, just like the Muslim nuts and the right-wing Christian nuts, uh, you'll, you'll spare no cheat to uh, save and preserve your propaganda, your dogma, uh, your lies. Uh, so fuck you people. I'm not taking it personally. That's just not going to happen. I'm not accepting your critiques because you're not honorable people. And I will show you no respect. None. You deserve none. You've earned none. Uh, and so, uh, go ahead. Make a mistake. And I certainly will. I'll make, a, make one, and he actually make a video, all right, where you actually say something. I can really rip this shit. Uh, but I should just go through your comments. Well, although it's rather tedious. Must be fucking 50 of them on that video. Just talking babbly shit. Uh, a bunch of innuendos, a bunch of little subtle accusations and slanders. Uh, pitiful. If you have an argument to make, if you have some truth, then make your argument. I said that's to you, you I dada wada, whatever your fucking name is, ma guy. Fuck you. I'm, I'm quite sick of you. <laughs> you know, quite sick. Uh, you have an argument to make, why don't you make a video, you little pussy? Uh, or why don't you post something on a blog somewhere? Write up a whole statement so I can disprove you and, and demonstrate you to be a fucking ignorant turd. Uh, really. Fuck you. Join their side. That's where you belong. Okay? If you don't understand, there's no point in being anti-natalist so you can reduce the, the, uh, uh, you know, the horror by point one zero 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 percent and feel all proud of yourself, well then fuck off. The game can be won, but it can't be won by pussies like you. Fuck you. Get out of the way. <laughs> yeah, really. Asshole. Enough said. It's always a good way to end the video. Asshole.